Drop a heart emoji if you know whose hands these are. I know y'all know. Don't act like y'all don't know. We ain't seen a video of hers in a minute. Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this look from beginning to end. It's so beautiful and it is inspired by Johnny Depp. I don't know how to pronounce that guys. You see, you see the name. So shout out to that account. So we did this look inspired by, look, it's pretty similar. I don't think we knew what the thumbs had going. Some of the lines are a little bit different. I just kind of took a little bit of liberty, but overall, this is what we did. So I'm starting by removing her previous set. She had a um, encapsulated builder gel um, from My Elegance and Slight Elegance's Diamond, which they don't have anymore. I found it's the prettiest, most beautiful, just simple something to throw on. It's not too silver, it's not too white. It reflects like crystals do, like kind of a rainbow effect, but it's not holographic. It looks pretty simple, but honestly, you'll be hard pressed to find something that is truly comparable. But so I um found some and it's one of my mom's favorites so the rest is reserved for her so she wanted to do something simple we didn't record it um I did these I think the same day when I did those um ones for my sister with the 10 different designs which took a minute to draw so we just did something simple on my mom for that so I am taking up the file this completely off and all the way down which honestly isn't that bad. I used to hate this process when I was working with acrylic because acrylic is so hard. Um, even with your best drill bit working the most amazing at a high speed and going, it's going to take some time. Oh my goodness. But this happened, this is so much quicker and less tedious and stressful with uh, builder gel. Like, I used to really hate this and try to talk to people out of, like, doing encapsulated type designs that I had to file all the way down. So, yeah, with Builder Gel, not the same. I'm always trying to convince y'all of Builder Gel. That's my theme here. Um, so, I'm filing it down, and it looks crazy like I'm filing her natural nail, but I promise you guys I'm not. It's just different layers of nail product um, make it look like that like it's more pinky in more areas and less in others but there's still a layer of a base gel there so don't fret and so after i get it all debulked and we're basically as close to the natural nail as possible that i feel safe going and i generally will go in at this point with a cross cut bit if i need to get it even more smooth um but I don't think I did or didn't feel the need. So I'm using, I believe this is the itty bitty bit from Light Elegant. Okay, I just checked. Yes, this is the itty bitty bit. I'm sorry, I'm getting used to the names. Um, it's a set I got recently, so I'm not used to the little cute names yet. The bit I used to debulk was the speedy bit. And I use that bit at about 30,000 to 35,000 RPMs. I use it super fast, so... I don't have a lot of heat and friction on the nail. I know it seems scary, but um, I really find it best to use at those higher speeds. I would at least, at the very least, go to 20, 25,000 RPMs. Probably not much slower than that. Or you're going to start doing the complete opposite. Well, not the complete opposite, but you're going to gain friction. You're not going to be able to move through the nail like, with ease, like butter. So it sounds intimidating, but to get the best use of that, it's at a higher speed. So I am going in with this shaper bit, which is a crosscut style diamond bit. Um, and I am debul well, I'm not debulking. I'm kind of getting more of that product off of her natural nail just to get a smoother surface to remove more of that product. 
um, near the side walls just to make sure we don't have any issues when we apply the new product onto our nails. And so this is just helping remove, you see right there in that little crevice, that product where it's also buffing the entirety of the nail, removing the shine, adding texture to it. Then we're going in with the, what is this bit called? It is the buffy bit. And we're moving the dead skin from her epinicium, what we like to call simply the cuticle area, not the cuticle. And um, kind of flaking that skin off. I'm using this at about 8,000 RPMs. And I'm going to use it in both directions to flake that skin off from all the different angles. You kind of get a different angle when you're going from right to left which is forward for right-handed people and then also I like to go from left to right which is putting the e-file in reverse um which would be more appropriate if you're left-handed that's the way you use the e-file anyway okay okay so you see right now I'm working from the right side of the nail to the left I um kind of zoomed out a little bit this time just so you can get a full scope of what is going on and um just flaking that skin off any like beginnings of hangnail any calluses rough dry skin that you can get towards the fingertips of the nails we're able to buff that down and not have the clip at it or anything like that i really have been enjoying this bit so very much i um my mother said it's a little it's not painful but you can feel it a little more than the round bit but i mean that's really it. it's not bad my clients haven't complained just that but my mom has more sensitive she's a little sensitive angel okay y'all but i personally have used it on myself and my sister she doesn't really seem to have an issue none of my other clients have mentioned anything um at all so yeah so you can see i'm just working on flaking that skin up we are hoping that she uses her my mother's probably the best person at using her cuticle oil the most often but we in our family we have dry skin we do there's psoriasis eczema and stuff i have it my mother has it and just various things going on you know, so you never know what nobody's going through, and it, it can't even—it it doesn't even have to be something that serious. Y'all little judgy boots out there—that's what y'all, that's what y'all are, okay? And y'all don't even know the whole story, cause somebody always wanna act like they know the situation. But anyways, we're back on task. So I'm using these coffin medium ivory nails, and I'm doing this to extend that nail. She had broke a nail. And this was a very, I love this fix. I use it on her pointer finger on her left hand. Um, and I love this fix super well. And this is Airbon. I cleanse the nails, remove the dust and everything, wiped them down um, with, I believe, alcohol or light elegances um, cleanser. And I'm using this Air Bond. Air Bond is a bonder that basically is cured by the moisture in the nail. The nail beds is great for people with um, hyperhidrosis, oily or wet nail beds, people who whose hands are in moisture. Um, nail biters usually have issues. So it's a great just added little product. So I've been using both on my clients lately regardless of their status <laughs> that's probably not the best phrasing um just to make sure they have really good adhesion and then i'm using light elegance's tat which is a cured bonding agent both of these i am using to have excellent adhesion and i have been having really really great adhesion using this too with a variety of clients lately so then i'm taking the um, that tip, uh, that extension, the Daily Charm one, you can use Kotapta and the number 10 to buy these sets. I absolutely love these just as how they're supposed to be applied. They're great. This is not how they're, with my air quotes, supposed to be applied, but this is how I'm using them. Like I said, I'm using this as extension. So I am using, I don't think I could find the Daily Charms extender. I'm using the Opera Gel X Extend Gel. And I'm applying it as you normally 
wood towards the cuticle area, but I'm applying it a little further down the nail as an extension. And like I said, and I'm just curing it, making sure I have no bubbles. I kind of measured it out to make sure it matched um, close in length to her middle nail. We always want the middle nail. I oh we don't. I like to make it just a little bit longer because it's wider when we're trying to get our proportions right. And um, so measure that up and applied it. Boom. So then I am using a Jimmy Gel Ideal Pink as a base gel. And I actually was initially going to build the nails out of this product, but I decided not to and just to solely use it as a base gel. You definitely can. Um, I just felt like with the length of her nail, the apex I would have to get, I like a medium viscosity. This is a little bit of a thinner viscosity, not a thin viscosity, but a thinner one than I would like to work with with building because these nails are almost bare. They're essentially basically bare. Um, they're still technically product on there. But yeah, so we have to build these up a good little bit. So this didn't just didn't wasn't the ideal product for this scenario. If her nails wasn't as long weren't as long and I didn't have to build them as much, then I would quite possibly use this product for that situation. I was about to on this pinky, then I switched, changed my mind. And I used the ideal pink, the same color, but in their builder gel. So you can see I showed you guys the guys um, the pointer that was made from the Daily Charm tip, and I applied it the same way, probably about the set before this, one set or two sets ago. And um, you can hardly tell. It looks like a regular extension, just fine. And just so you know, I'm using light elegance's um gel polish brush you know you know the white elegance um it is a brand if you go to the website it is professional only you can if you if you know down below it, this is a controversial topic and i'll speak to it like this because that's not what we're here for i believe skyline beauty supply sells it to anybody and if you want to discuss down below where you can obtain it um, but we all must know we shouldn't be working on others for money without a license. And y'all put that together however y'all want to. And that's that. <laughs> so I um, decided, I just applied that building base to that extension nail, that ring finger nail. And I just did that and I'm going to leave it for now and build up all the other nails. Just so I don't have to deal with dust because I want to file that out and make that more flush. But I don't like dealing with dust in the middle of me building up the nails. So you can see I applied a thin layer of that um, builder gel. Went ahead and cured it. Just applied a thin layer like polish. Went ahead and cured it. And then after that, I'm going to start um, building the nail. The reason I did that because, and I answered this in a premiere video somebody was asking um, about heat spikes. Like I said, my mother's a little more sensitive. Um, me and her, we both have thinner nail, um, thinner nails. So, um, and that's just naturally. It's not because of damage. I've had thin paper, thin nails since I was a child. Um, they'll flip back without even hurting or anything like that. So they're just a little more sensitive. So the thicker you build the gel, the more heat it will usually um, produce. So if you can start with one or two thinner layers, they won't produce as much heat. And then in turn, when you try to build it up a little more, you'll kind of have basically a barrier of gel there to kind of protect your nail from the heat that the thicker layer is going to produce. Hopefully that makes sense. So anyways, I built the nail up with the builder gel and then I decided to go ahead and use the Jimmy gel again just to finish it off because I was applying this very quickly kind of not perfect which it doesn't need to be builder gel I always say it's so easy to file any mistakes lumps and bumps you can knock out really fast 
But um, this self levels, the Jimmy Gel self levels beautifully. And like I said, I don't want to build the bulk of this nail up with this product because it was a lot to build up and a lot to move around. But now at this point, I don't need to build a lot. I just want to use this for its self leveling quality. So I want to get this nail pretty smooth, as close to perfect in a way that I can so I don't have a lot of finished filing to do. So you can see me kind of perfecting that. So I built all the other nine nails and now I'm back to this extension nail. So prep this nail as usual. You see I applied the tip with the extension gel from Opera Gel X, not because something's wrong with the Daily Charm one, um, but just because I couldn't find it at that second. So I'm trying to make this flush um, where the extension meets the natural nail. So I put that uh, builder gel, just kind of bridge that gap. And so we removed all the dust. I'm applying tack again and curing it just so what I build on top of there, I can ensure that it adheres properly. So then I'm applying a thin layer right here of the Builder Gel, the Ideal Pink Builder Gel. And then you see I'm kind of applying it like polish. And I'm going to have her go ahead and cure that. Again, apply that thinner layer so it's not as hot. And then, so I have, um, we have the base gel of the Jimmy Gel. We even that out. Then we have a, a thin layer of the Ideal Pink. And then we're building it out a little more right now. So we have those two layers to kind of, again, act like a barrier um, for the heat spike. So then I built up the apex and got the thickness I wanted with that builder gel. And I'm taking this Jimmy gel again to build up anywhere I see fit, but not much. And mostly just for self-leveling purposes to get a beautiful, nice, smooth surface that we don't need to um, file the surface of. I'm sorry for being redundant, but that we don't need to file the surface of that much. So then I shaped her nails off camera and I actually, if you have been dying to see me file, it's not, I file one nail to completion in the $400 bling video. So if you want to see that, go ahead and find that video. It's like two videos before this one. Fast forward to this part and you'll see how I file a nail into shape it is a coffin shape nail just so you know so i got a little clip of that it is one complete nail though and you see it from beginning to end it's sped up everything's sped up when you got the time so i'm using that shaper bit from my elegance again which is a diamond cross cut bit you can get it from at one similar from atwood industries and i am getting the surface as smooth as I possibly can, making sure towards the cuticle area it is tapered down as flush as possible. You want to make sure, because you can kind of tell, you see the places that the file hasn't touched, that means they are lower, there's valleys right there. So we want to make sure we even that out and that that file touches everything a part of that nail. And I'm always looking at different angles, trying to make sure I have this as perfect as possible especially because this is our final product with just some black and white gel on it i want to get it perfected if this for some reason i mean if we were going to do bling all over these nails or glitter or something then you can honestly be a little bit lenient with getting it a hundred percent perfect we still want the nail to be balanced we still want to taper out the cuticle area but if we had a little, and I'm talking minor, I'm going for some version of perfection right now. But like I said, if we're doing glitter on it, I might go to like 87% perfect. Still have a bomb shape, still balanced nail, still tapered at the cuticle area so our nails don't look bulky and like press-ons when they're not. So, yeah. That's just my tip and just to kind of speed things up and I don't have the audacity to really say that but I gotta find speed where I can because you know 
I am a perfectionist. I'm not a perfect person, not a perfect tech, but somebody who tries to seek a level of perfection to a point it can hinder me if I really want to be introspective about it. But that's another story for another time. Um, so, you know, we don't have to do that at times. But right now, that's what I'm trying to do. Anyways. So, you see, I'm checking from left to right. I'm checking the profile of the nail, down the barrel of the nail. And just filling the nail, you'll see clips of me filling the nail with my thumb. It happens real fast because this is, of course, sped up. And I'm just filling for any lumps and bumps and inconsistencies. Again, I want to reiterate because this is a simple not simple nail art, but there's not much that can hide any mistakes. And because we're doing very straight line work, we can't have these extreme hills and valleys in the nail because that will distort our lines. Hopefully that makes sense. So I am using those gels um, along with Perfect White and Perfect Black, I believe, from Madame Glam. And you can always use Cotabsa from Madame Glam. And while we're here, Madame Glam just released some new reflective holographic gel polishes. So did Daily Charm. I have a live video where I reveal them. And follow me on Instagram at tapscott underscore nails. And I did a little uh, reveal of those colors. They're absolutely all beautiful. The ones from Madame Glam and the ones from Daily Charm. I'm kind of super loving the ones from Daily Charm. Um, but Yeah. <laughs> Just their color options, the ones that I picked, super cute. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm using the striper brush. I believe this is the one from Poochie's Nails I've been using as of late. But you guys know for years, or you might not know, you may be new. For years and years, I use the long striper um, from Wildflowers Nails to do all my artwork. And have super enjoyed it. I have it over here in case sometimes I need a couple stripers going depending on the artwork. So yeah. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and apply a base gel. Um, because I didn't like how you, you, you need that. Um, are you going to apply a matte gel polish? Let me get my words together. Because I didn't like, and I didn't wipe the tacky layer off, so you see that didn't work. So I wiped the tacky layer off. That way I get a smooth surface to apply my um, artwork to. Because we don't have those deep hills and valleys, but because of the way in which I left that buff surface, there were minor, um, not intentions, that might not even be the right word. You can just see the texture of the bit. And so the line, the gel kind of pulled to those areas. So this just felt, it felt, y'all, I can talk, filled in those areas so we can get a much smoother and crisper line. Like I say, these lines are saying a lot. They are. And actually, this wasn't super difficult um, to do. Honestly, cheat. It seems elaborate when, for me. When I do like the straight type lines, um, y'all remember those neon ombre set that I did a couple months ago in the summer? It seems so dramatic and it is, I mean, visually it is, but as far as the work, it's a little, so much less tedious and easier for me personally to do. Um, just those straight lines, it's just... It's it, curved lines are my kryptonite. Anything like curved, little wispies, little swirls, I need to get it together and perfect that. Those are very difficult for me. Straight lines, we can do that all day and get it done in reasonable amounts of time. Swirls, no, because the striper is a straight. It does muscle work for you. It's a straight brush if you understand the angle in which to hold it and just how to start the beginning and end of the line so it looks more natural as a straight line, then yes. And I say that as I obviously messed up on this nail and wiped it off, but I didn't like that. I really didn't like the angle. 
that the line was going so we needed to get that off and just to let you know you see how i'm fixing that towards the cuticle area you want to make sure these lines are as close to the same width from beginning to end unless you're going to for a certain effect make sure that they are because that will clean up the look because when you just set that brush down and pull just that by the nature of the brush the beginning where you set the brush is going to be thinner because it's finer towards the tip and then it is going to expand out a little bit as you lay it down and pull it through so to give it a better look go back in and thicken up the beginning of that line so that you have a consistent width through the entirety of that line when you're doing something like this that really doesn't apply but when you're doing like a simple straight line through and through that's an important thing to consider and so as you can see it's paying off that i'm curing because when i need to fix the space or the look of the line i can just wipe off that singular line without having to start my whole entire look all over again and my any other tip i have for line work i mean it's kind of hard to teach it verbally i mean you're seeing what i'm doing visually but always use your pinky as an anchor to get stability from that's super super important don't let your hand just flop out there in the wild and like it has to be able to stabilize and which in turn we talk about the pinky being held up like anchoring on your other hand but your other hand also needs to be anchored on something so my left hand is anchored on my desk maybe my wrist up to, or my forearm is that's something that's flat on the ground and is not moving and then my pinky on my right hand is you can see it's set on my left hand so it's not just the pinky on the right it's what is that pinky up against on your left hand okay is your left hand stabilized what is that on oh it's on a table that's sitting on the earth and not moving great so it's a train of stability okay okay <laughs> and then try not to hold your breath that is a very big tip, and that's something that I learned when I went to art school. Um, it can cause more shaking. So try just to breathe, okay? Okay. So we're using a crystal gel, and you see we added that black. I didn't get much clips of that. It wasn't really amazing. you just seen where I added it. Just doing the same thing. But by this time, it's getting late, and I'm trying to hurry, get my mom home. Not because I didn't want her there, but it was getting late, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be safe. Her and my sister come over the same days. My sister got little cow nails. We did that. She liked the little cow nails, don't she, y'all? They cute. I got the video on it. We'll do that later. I have so much content for you guys. And um, I am trying to post every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And I'm going to try. I really like doing the premiere videos. And um, you can see I'm using Crystal Moonlight and Crystal AB for these stones. And I'm using beads from dailycharm.com. They have these little micro beads. And I am using this little LED light. You see? Daily Charm. Boom. To set them in place when I get them where I want them. And the crystals come from bluestreetcrystals.com. And I'm using Light Elegance's Protein Bond to apply it over the nail just to make sure we have great adhesion of the top coat so it doesn't pull away or anything like that and that is it y'all i'm using a no wipe top coat i'm not sure which one i'm using but it's one that i love I'm sealing around those crystals never over the crystals next to the crystals around the edges of the crystals not on top of the crystals over the beads seal over the beads that's absolutely fine. It protects their color. Make sure they, they don't have a lot of surface area to stick to the nail. So we like to seal over them. And this is our final look, guys. So yes, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Put a black heart, a white heart. Put both, put either or for this look. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is what it's going to try and be. And I'm going to do the premiere videos. If you're not aware what those are, you watch it. We do a chat. And then after that, it's available. But at first, for the first however many minutes, it's like a live video. It's a super cool thing. I've never actually done as a um, person who watches YouTube. But 
it's super cool anyways i really thank you guys for watching and taking your time shout out to my mom getting this super cute set for y'all to see all right you guys don't forget to thumbs up like subscribe bye